Okay, my YouTube viewers, I'm assuming there's at least two. You asked for it, and now you're going to get it. <clears throat> now, my take, my opinion on something, the title of this video is going to be Martin Luther King versus Malcolm X. A lot of things that I say on this channel have to do with our appalling race relations. Uh. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's it's tragic. It's tragic. Oh my God, it's so stupid. Unbelievable. Uh. Anyway. Okay, to get to the point, <clears throat> Martin Luther King, 32, 40, 45 years ago, almost going on two generations, Malcolm X. Malcolm X, by any means necessary, very famous uh, Muslim, Mart, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., um, followed more of the Gandhi nonviolence teachings. And I think King was the right way to look at it. And I'll give you my opinion. Dr. Martin Luther King followed Mahatma Gandhi's nonviolence teachings in um, his approach to achieving racial equality. Um, Whereas Malcolm X, his view was by any means necessary. I kind of understand, I think, both views, and I think King's was the higher awareness of the two, and I'll tell you why. Um, <clears throat> a couple of quick examples. <clears throat> There was a movie called Billy Jack that came out, I believe, in the 70s. And what this has to do with this, I don't know, but I just felt like it did. So I'm going to tell you. There's a scene in the movie where he is told to slap or hit three different people with different uh, types of awareness. The first one is like a beefy construction worker with his drinking buddies. And he goes up and he doesn't have any compunction about slapping this man. And the man turns immediately without even thinking and strikes him right back, punches him and knocks him and rolls him back. So, you know, he's holding his jaw and going, okay, you know, that's kind of what I expected. That's the low form of awareness or consciousness. The next one he goes up to is he's, st this is a kind of, it looks like a college student perhaps, and he strikes this man who's talking to his friends and this man doesn't react quite immediately, but he's still distracted enough to, to um, <clears throat> react with anger and turn from what he's doing to Billy Jack. So he's, okay, that was a little bit different. Then the next one is like a Christ-like or some sort of enlightened figure. And Billy Jack is kind of reluctant to even hit this individual, but he does. And this man turns to Billy Jack, and it's like he doesn't, he's not distracted. He, he weaves that into his teaching. Um, and you can kind of see the different levels of the, the, the heightened awareness and consciousness in the three. Anyway, I thought I'd just, if you could get a chance, I would like to see that scene again myself. The other example I'd like to bring is building a structure. If you want to build like a high rise, you need a good foundation and you need a good plan to build it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. It'll collapse. You have to build it according to code. That's the way I see kings nonviolent and Mahatma Gandhi's. They, they are not going to react. They're going to be put them in the position of the nonviolent and they are not going to raise a hand. They're going to turn the other cheek. And when people 
who who are watching this, they're going to see that, and they are going to sympathize with the nonviolent. Malcolm X, in contrast, had by any means necessary, and I understand his point of view. He wants he wanted to show, and I'm thinking that they were in such a despicable position that any ramshackle type of shack that you want to put together just for shelter, and that's a metaphor for against the, the racism, just something to protect, anything to protect them from the racism is he's willing to do. By any, whatever it takes, I'll do it. If I have to put up some cardboard things with you know, electrical extension cords that aren't up to code, whatever. That's how bad it is. I'm willing to do that just to protect myself from these horrible elements. And I understand that point of view, but I think it's more of a short-term solution, if you will. That was the genius of King. It was more of a long-term blueprint for building a permanent type of structure that would be enduring rather than just this um, whatever, you know, temporary shelter. I understand Malcolm X's thing, but I think King's is the better point of view in the long run. Anyway, that's my take on that particular. I'm going to throw up a bunch, so please bear with me. Um, as always, peace and love.